don't laugh. <laughs> Hey everyone, how you doing? Trying to done here. Um, going to be doing a uh, reveal video for some new additions I've had to my collection. Um, I did do an unboxing video, but the footage was sadly lost, which is kind of disappointing. But I try to sort out the best I can, um, and so instead I'm going to be putting up the footage from the rehousing videos. So if I say I give out the unboxing video, just ignore those comments because I didn't realise like, it wasn't you know the, the problem with it. So yeah, uh, this is going to be the footage of the new things that I've had. All of these were bought from the Spider Shop, so um, click on the link in the, the description. Uh, check out their page, see what spiders they have, and you can buy some for yourself. Uh, watch right the way through. I will be putting uh, pictures and the text at the bottom so you can see what the species um, are and what they look like as adults, so you can see what I'm hoping to achieve in a few years with these. Um, and also at the end of the video there was an outtake. I did have two spiders escape during the um, rehousing videos. Uh, one was straight away back in, another one was a bit of a pain, so that's at the end. And of course there is a guest uh, YouTuber closing off this video, so hope you all enjoy this video. Please check out the links in the description. As always, thanks for watching, take care and enjoy the video. Okay then, so I'm going to start off with the Lassidor difficilis. I'll just move that one back a little bit so that you can see. Try and keep it on camera as much as I can. So, yeah, very simple setup. Just got um, an inch and a half of, uh, of substrate, a uh, bit of a hide fort, and a bit of leaves just purely for, for decoration, I guess. Obviously, this is only a very uh, small spider. Take that out. And again, there it is. Only very small. Just place that onto the top. Just very carefully coax it on. That spider is absolutely tiny. Okay then, that's the first one. Nice and easy. Place that out of the way. I have to change the sort of seating position because my uh, my, my foot's completely gone to sleep. Um, next up is this one, which is the uh, Ceratogrus marshalli. Again, very simple setup for this. I've got substrate and just put this uh, fake plant in. Hopefully, it will use. Um, I'll just tilt the camera. It will use these zang points to build quite a, a elaborate web because they are really active webbers. So, if I just take take the lid off. I don't think you'll be able to see because it, it is very very small. Just very carefully place that in there. It escaped. <sighs> right, let's get you back into there. Mm. And now let's get you back into here. Shall we? Mm. Thank you. So there it is. See it just there. Okay then, so next up is the, uh, the Dark Earth Tiger. Again with this one, a very simple setup of, um, sorry that I've got YouTube notifications coming through. Um, I have a, again, about just over an inch of substrate, fake planting for it to uh, anchor its web. 
very very simple yeah my phone goes off constantly because it's every time I get like a comment or something it uh, it goes off it can be a bit of a pain it's the reason I turn on when I go to bed on a night I turn my Wi-Fi off because otherwise it just beeps constantly and it's quite irritating did that go in there? yes it did so that's the Earth Tiger, and it is, um, I don't think you'll be able to see it, oh, you see it just there, okay then, so next is the uh, Schmattpelmer Calciator, uh, this is an, a, a boiler set up, uh, Again, uh, about an inch and a half of substrate and a fake plant. Um, I don't tend to put hides in with our boils. Not these ones, because I find they, they web so much that they don't really need um, like fake hides and things because they build, you know, they construct them themselves. Um, at least that's what I found with them anyway. So, if I show you my SCO. Feather legged baboon. Absolutely beautiful spider, but very, very fast. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unfold it, oh. okay, go that way, it's now back on the underside of the tissue, there we go, in it goes, no problems or anything, again I will get a close up, So it's just, just there in the centre, not the best picture but it is in there and hopefully it's all, it should be alright. Okay, next up is the Hexagodra Maculata, the Togo Starburst. Um, this is probably one of my favourite of the, uh, the baboon uh, spiders. Just because of the the adult coloration and things on on them, um, obviously I know they are they are baboons. I f personally think these are these along with the uh, Pelugardi, uh, some of the I think some of the more relaxed baboons. That said, don't sort of piss around with them. My phone is starting to annoy me now. So yeah, this is quite a large enclosure, but. Um, Plenty of room for it. So there's the HMAC. I'm going to place it down onto the, the, uh, the log there. And in it goes. I won't be able to get close of that because it has gone straight underneath the. Uh, there is actually a log in here. Because the last ones I had, they tended to burrow more. So yeah, it's gone sort of down into this burrow bit down there. So it ain't. I can't get a, a close up of that unfortunately. So there's that one. Next one done. Um, ooh, next one, I'm not going to bother stopping recording for this one because I'm going to edit. This is the Huntsman. Um, I do not know the species or anything. It's called Huntsman Fuckery. Um, because they don't know what it is. It could be kind of anything, I think. So I will try and get some pictures of it and post them on my Instagram. So if you have me on Instagram, uh, you can, you know, when you can, when I put the picture up, which the picture will already be up by the time this video goes up. And um, yeah, you can give me your thoughts on what you think it might be. So uh, I got this in kind of a, I've got some substrate at the bottom. I've uh, done a sort of a hide um, with the uh, cork bark underneath, a uh, fake plant which I've got coming on the outside, uh, just there, so that that plant is secure, uh, so you can have a bit of a climb and things as well. Now this spider is really fast and it jumps. Um, I would love to get a close-up of it, but I don't want this to get into my bedroom. Um, my girlfriend is very tolerant to me and my spiders. She actually handled her first tarantula on the weekend 
I don't think she would appreciate having a spider loose though, you know? It's actually half getting undressed then. I don't think I even touched it then, it just ran and jumped and that's immensely fast. Kim would not like that being out and about. So yeah, um, I will try and get a picture of that but that'll be at a later, later date guys. Um, I think I'm going to have five and I'll continue. <laughs> okay then, so next up is the uh, ornate spitting spider um, it's a pretty cool looking little thing I'm just gonna kind of try and tap this one in very carefully I find it's very creepy because out of all the spiders um, or sort of like well I class as creepy things you know because um, they're not actually spiders are the harvestmen the ones you find especially in England on the side of like you know damp houses and garages and things and I'm not scared of them um, because I'm not really scared of any kind of animal I don't think but um, out of all the things that could creep me out Huntsman really 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 freaked me out um, and this very much reminds me of that um, Uh, the lighting isn't fantastic because it's going dark. Let's try. Not really getting a very good uh, focus on it. Okay then, and last but not least, I hope the light's okay because it is going a bit dark now and I have all the light but I'm just waiting for it is the uh, T species Panama so a uh, very beautiful spider um, again about an inch inch and a half substrate um, a, sort of a little tubular hide as you can see you can room in there for it to burrow and web up and things and some little decorations and things that should be okay for it I think so uh, absolutely beautiful spider Place that. On the uh, right. just, just kicking airs at me. Please don't kick airs. Okay, well that's just like not moving at all. So what I'm gonna do, turn that off. Just place the whole thing in there. <laughs> it can explore its own uh, on its own. Okay then, so that's Henry House. It's pretty awesome. Um, the only thing really is the two um, pupa, but they will be in. Um, they'll just go into like a, a butterfly mesh house thing. So there's nothing too exciting with them. So. As far as the rehousing video goes for these, that's it, pretty much. It's a very nice looking spider, but... Oh god. This is so fast. Josh! Josh! I 
I can feel it. There it is. This is so fast. Where's it going now? I don't want to move in case I get it caught. Alright. Hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here. Hope you all enjoyed Daniel's video. I'd just like to start off by saying thanks Dan for letting me do the outro. And to everyone else who's watching, if you do have a spare five minutes, please check out my latest videos. I've got some very exciting breeding projects coming up. So if you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all soon and check out my videos in the link in the description below.